Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum. Welcome to my YouTube channel, Science for Everyone. Today in this video lecture, I will discuss a very important topic that is related to the biosynthesis of amino acid. And the name of the topic is the sulfur assimilation. How sulfur compound, how sulfur uh, element is incorporated into the amino acid. Okay. So this is the topic uh, that I will discuss here. Uh, today just look uh, to the di uh, this slide that uh, there are two amino acids that are involved uh, that uh, sulfur is bounded to their uh, alkyl group okay just look here to the methionine this here this is the methionine it has a sulfur component okay it has a sulfur element and just look here to the cysteine it is also having a sulfur uh, element so question arises where does this sulfur come from Okay, just like uh, in the previous videos, as I have discussed that where does this NH3 come from? So the, that was uh, in a uh, uh, separate lecture. Uh, if you haven't watched that uh, video, so also watch that video that uh, how, where does this NH3 come from uh, in the amino acids? So just like this NH3, question arises that where does this sulfur component come from? So here in this video lecture, I will discuss this, that where does this sulfur element come from and what are the chemical reaction that takes place uh, in the incorporation of sulfur into the amino acid backbone, okay? So watch uh, the video till the end, okay? Keep this thing in mind that uh, it is also known as sulfur assimilation. So I want to uh, clear uh, you uh, for to, to you that uh, amino acid can are uh, uh, the the cysteine and the methionine that are uh, so that are the sulfur that is present inside it. So mostly the bacteria uh, get this these type of amino acids from the environment from the nutrients this cysteine and uh, methionine as ready made amino acid. But uh, if these amino acids are not present in the nutrient. So then it should, uh, uh, it should uh, com uh, compose this, it should form these amino acids. So for these amino acids, the sulfur is very much important because it is present in its alkyl uh, group, in its alkyl chain. So first of all, if this, uh, these amino acids are not present in the nutrient, so it, uh, these bacteria should form it through different chemical reaction. So mostly keep this thing in mind that in the atmosphere, uh, this uh, this type uh, of sulfur is present. Okay, in the atmosphere, this type of sulfur is present. It is also known as sulfate. Okay, it is also known as sulfate. So it is present in the atmosphere and even in the uh, in the soil and in the water. So this is very much in oxidized form. And as I have told you in the previous videos, that biological uh, uh, these living organism cannot use such type of uh, compounds that are present in oxidized form. So when uh, compounds are present in a reduced form, so they can easily use it. But when it is, you, uh, it is present in oxidized form, so first it should be converted into a reduced form. After that, it can be used um, uh, in the, uh, it can be incorporated into the amino acid or used in other chemical reaction. So in the atmosphere, Sulfate is present abundantly. So first, uh, different through different chemical reactions, uh, this sulfate should be converted into reduced form. So what are the chemical reaction? So first of all, an ATP will bind uh, to the uh, sulfate, and this is uh, it will convert into adenosine five phosphate sulfate, and this is the chemical structure of it. Okay, this is the uh, this is the adenosine five phosphate sulfate. This is the chemical structure. So this uh, ATP will bind to this sulfate. After that, another ATP will bind and will convert into phosphoadenosine 5 phosphate. And after that, into uh, this SO3. And with the help of NADPH, this NADPH uh, will provide hydrogen to it. And it will uh, convert it into the H2S form. And it is then now it is reduced completely. This is known as organic sulfur compound. Okay. So now it has the ability to directly incorporate into the amino acid. So this, this is the chemical reaction and it is also known as sulfur assimilation. 
and for your information it is known as assimilatory sulfate reduction okay uh, i want to tell you guys that uh, if someone something is present in the at, uh, in the atmosphere in the oxidized form and it is converted into reduced form so if it is sulfate so it is known as assimilatory sulfate reduction okay assimilatory sulfate reduction and if uh, for example uh, if uh, n uh, no3 is present in the atmosphere okay no3 is present in the atmosphere so in the previous video as i have told you this no3 will be converted first to different chemical reaction it will be converted into nh3 after that this it will be used so this is known as uh, assimilatory nitrate reduction and when sulf uh, sulfate sulfate is reduced so this is known as assimilatory sulfate reduction okay keep these terms in mind it may be asked uh, from you people in the exams okay so after that when it is converted into h2s form so then it could be uh, incorporated into the into the backbone of the uh, amino acid so just look to the chemical reaction now here is the so this h2s form so it can be uh, it can add with the serine and then it can give rise to cysteine and with the removal of water okay and keep this thing in mind these uh, this type of chemical reaction mostly occur in the fungi okay in the fungi it can occur in the uh, bacteria but mostly fungi uh, adopt this process it adds h2s with the serine and it forms cysteine okay another chemical reaction it is known as the uh, this uh, it can uh, take place inside the bacteria mostly the bacteria can uh, uh, can uh, perform this type of chemical reaction so what happens this serine uh, just look here this uh, serine is first converted into o acetyl serine with the help of this acetyl coa uh, adds to the serine and after that h2s bind with the o acetyl serine and it give rise to cysteine okay and after that this cysteine can give rise to methionine it can give rise to methionine if i write it m okay so first of all cysteine can be formed but they are using h2s not ho4 okay no so4 or so3 the sulfate so keep this thing in mind first the so3 that is present in uh, in the atmosphere will be converted into hos h2s and after that then it will be incorporated with the help of this chemical reaction into the backbone of the amino acid so once form cysteine can be used in the synthesis of other sulfur containing organic compound including the amino acid methionine as i have told you okay so from this uh, video lecture uh, now you came to know that uh, how uh, sulfur is assimilated in the backbone of the amino acid and uh, if you have any further questions related to this topic so then let me know in the comment box i will answer you there okay you have learned about different uh, terms assimilatory uh, nitrate reduction assimilatory sulfate reduction okay so these are these are mostly used in the uh, exams okay and asked uh, in the exam so just uh, watch this video thank you very much for your attention uh, god bless you